Hello everyone, I haven't done a vlog in a while. I just got back from Akan, uh, or Odyssey Con, full name. Uh, for those of you who didn't know that I was going, I believe I mentioned it in a couple places, but not recently. Anyways, as usual, this is a little bit of the uh, swag I got here. Um, hopefully I'll find an image for this, otherwise I might add a little bit of video later. But uh, first thing I got uh, was actually something uh, from Erin. I'm not sure particularly why she grabbed it, other than the fact that she saw Common Rider and knew instantly that I wanted it. So uh, here is the image, supposedly. Um, I've managed to figure out that it's from Common Rider Kuga, first of all. Uh, it was the first major series after they stopped doing Common Rider movies. Uh, I want to say it happened, they stopped Common Rider movies after Jay. But I can't remember for sure. Also, the computer's booting up, so sorry if you hear any noises. <laughs> um, so, uh, looks interesting, and from what I've been able to find out, it's uh, kind of an expansion set. Like, it's supposed to have extra bits and pieces for uh, weapon and ba uh, belt uh, add-ons. So, uh, yeah, it, it looks interesting. I'll keep it around, see if I can find any of the other parts for it that they're supposed to eventually attach to. Um, otherwise, uh, that's about it. I know that offhand, at least for right now. And of course, if you happen to know any more about it than I do, please do comment. Um, other than that, uh, I guess I'll start with the bag here. Got a few, th uh, I got at least one thing in here for sure, other than snacks. <laughs> And other than the Malice Mask, which traveled with me for the first and last day of the con. Wore it on and off throughout the week. And yes, I have one thing in here. Which is... Zardos. For those of you who don't know and uh, can't maybe not see the picture of him clearly on there. That's Sean Connery's face. I can definitely see it now. And yeah, this is just, just Sean Connery at the top. Uh, this is a very bizarre, very cerebral little sci-fi movie. It's uh, actually, if you uh, look at it very closely, you would actually notice if you read it uh, a little bit backwards and stuff, that it says Wizard of Oz, actually. And it's kind of based around that kind of play of ideas. And there's a lot of really weird genetic experimental things going on and lots of psychedelics and all that. Again, very odd movie, but um, I will say that for as odd as it is, it's also very entertaining and has some uh, unique imagery, if you will. So uh, that'll be a fun review sometime, I'm sure. <clears throat> uh, actually, the next item I want to show is over here. The uh, next item I got here <clears throat> is the fourth Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. There's a little bit of an oddness going on here because, uh, first of all, listen to this. That and our more newer sonic screwdriver sounds. That's a sound that should not actually be coming out of this particular model sonic screwdriver. That is the sound it's supposed to be doing, and you have to, in order to make it work. <clears throat> so yeah. That's the proper sound, and that should actually be replacing this. That's, so, I don't know what BBC was thinking, but they should have really kind <clears> of <throat> reprogrammed that around, but... At least it has the proper sound. It's at least got that going for it. And, uh, yeah, uh, the batteries will actually last longer in this sucker because not only is the uh, speaker right here, but also because it doesn't have to worry about a light to power up there, which is why it's just pretty much all the actual mechanics are right down here. And uh, the batteries should probably have a longer life because it doesn't have to worry about an LED light. <clears throat> so I got that now. Um... Also, uh, going to have to pull this out a little bit here. Uh, while we were there, one of the panelists accidentally showed up a complete hour late. Um, not his fault because apparently the original plans he was given 
uh, uh, his panel was supposed to be an hour later, so he didn't know and didn't double check with the newer schedules apparently because they weren't told that they were newer or anything. But uh, I was given this uh, very nice little die here. It's a nice uh, shinyish uh, purple with gold uh, indented uh, numbers and so forth. And uh, this little card here. For this game, uh, it is uh, D6 uh, by D6, and you can even see uh, a little bit of his information there. There's the game, and I believe yeah, that's his Twitter, the uh, creator for this game. And essentially what it is is a uh, 2D6 game that runs on literally just the character sheet you have right back here, and away you go. Uh, there are some rules on the actual website, which I just shared with you there. And it can be used for just about any kind of game. Uh, he's already got rules set up for science fiction. He's got rules set up for fantasy. He's got rules set up for playing ghosts. Yes, you heard me. You get to role play as ghosts. Uh, he's got rules set up for a pseudo kind of uh, Resident Evil setting, which would be really cool. Um... He's got at least several different kinds, and actually I'm just getting a text here, but uh, all kinds of really interesting rules and preset uh, universes. He's actually talking to uh, book people to use their universes as part of the game, and just do a little bit of a setup for it, and picking skill sets and so forth. Be right back. Okay. And uh, last thing, really quick before I have to go. Actually, last two things. I'm going to get this too. I'm gonna use the outside box here. First of all, uh, instead of one of my allowances, I actually saw this. My sister was actually planning to get it for me at one point, but foolishly decided not to because, unlike her, I know better that if there's only a certain number of DVDs, something like this is going to go fast. The Frankenstein, all eight films, 1931 to 1948, collection. All the classic Universal run. Which means that, yes, I will probably have to uh, do some Frankenstein reviews. And finally, and this is the reason why I didn't want to bring out the uh, Common Rider stuff because it's even bigger than this. The D&D 5th Edition starter set. Apparently, uh, from what I've been hearing already, they like it a lot better than... Uh, 4th edition. It streamlined like 4th was planning to be, but but uh, didn't make the rules a bit awkward and uh, as some have pointed out, MMO-ish like the 4th uh, edition has been. So, we'll have to see what this baby's like. I, I now have the basic rules for at least level 1 to 5 and I'm sure I can get help with friends for anything beyond that. But uh, that has been my uh, particular grab bag for this weekend and uh, the uh, by the way, I will mention that uh, the D6 by D6 is a free game. All the rules are online, um, and he is kind of looking for more input. But he is so far, uh, he made it. I want to say two or three years ago, and he's been slowly kind of getting more input about it. And uh, so far, it's been generally pretty good. And kids from age eight to men in their thirties and forties have pretty much really enjoyed this. So. Uh, 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 or players from that age, those age groups. I should have just said men, but anyway, political correctness. Sounds like a really fun game. I will be trying to get some friends together to try and play this. It'll be interesting. So uh, that's it for uh, this particular vlog. Expect a couple more pretty soon, I think. And I will see you all next time.